Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans. So welcome back, guys. Today we are looking at the man, the myth, the Boba Fett for the Star Wars Legion. So guys, uh, Boba Fett is actually one of the operatives for the Imperial Faction. Uh, and as you know, guys, we actually don't have that many operatives in the game currently. So it's really cool to see him in there. Alrighty. So inside of Boba Fett, you are going to get one baggie that has his like flight stand that he has to be on. Um, that is one thing I don't like about this kit. It is an older kit with his base, right? That um, he doesn't have pose ability like I would like him to. He's a fantastic model, and I enjoy his model, except for um, when we look at these pieces. Where are they at? Um, right there. There's one. You have like these little flame exhaust ports that go on his backpack that are kind of fiddly to put on there but uh he's a super cool little model when we look at this guys you can see from his legs that he can only be built on the flying stand he cannot have like a standing version which i kind of wanted to do but overall guys he is a super cool model and pretty easy to build too not a ton of pieces not a lot of Posability options, sadly, but this is a very early model that came out in the uh, first year that Star Wars Legion came or uh, started. So there weren't a ton of options posability wise in a lot of the earlier models. So we have his uh, tokens. Let me turn that around. With the ever wonderful proof of purchase, his mobilization tokens, which were brand new for him when they came out. So pretty good little kit. Now. As far as upgrade cards go, he came with Duck and Cover, E-Stems, and Hunter. So, not too bad. You don't really see E-Stems used much anymore just because of the point cost involved with them. Alrighty. So, when we look at Boba Fett's card, um, he has a uh, bounty rule. So, it get, lets you get that secondary victory point. He has Jump 2, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, but we're about to see this more, especially with Arc Troopers coming out. I feel like Jump 2 is going to be a lot more um, used a lot more than it is right now. He has Arsenal 2, so he can actually shoot his uh, wrist rocket and his uh, that EE3 carbine, which is good. 5 health, 3 courage, red save, uh, surge to crit, serve to sa uh, save, and he's moved 3. This guy can fly up the battlefield. So he can take um, 2 gear options, 2 training options, which are really nice. And then for his um, cards, let's actually start with his three, and then we'll go up. So his three pip is his jetpack rocket. So um, your order token just goes to Boba Fett, and he gets a uh, range three to four, three red, black, impact two weapon, which is really cool. This is actually not a bad one to kind of finish off some, uh, some bounty targets with. All right, his... Lame projector, which this is another card too that I really like, um, and that kind of hurt me the other day in a battle report because he hopped in there with a unit of clones, or not clones, a uh, unit of droids, and just roasted them to death with this card. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's range uh, melee to one, uh, red dice, blast and spray. So really, really good. <laughs> Alright, especially against taking out like your rebels and your um, white save targets. And then we have his whipcord launcher, which is his one. So this is what those immobilization tokens for. So Boba Fett uh, perform, uh, can perform moves while engaged with a unit that has one or more immobilization tokens. During Boba Fett's activation, he gains... Choose any enemy trooper unit at range 1 and in line of sight. It gains 2 immobilization tokens and 2 suppression tokens. So not bad of a card, especially if you want to pin a, bount, uh, pin a bounty in place. Like you see with him painting Luke here in the card on the uh, sands, uh, sand ship thing from Bobo's uh, Fett's Palace. But super good card. Overall, guys, Boba Fett is one of those models that you don't see a ton but if you get a good player that really knows how to use him, he can be invaluable, especially with the bounty keyword. You can even see him in a double bounty list with him and Bosk, which is a really cool list to see. Um, and really ramps up the bonus points because then you get two bounty tokens on the table instead of one. But overall, guys, really cool kit. Fantastic model. If you haven't gotten it yet, I would highly suggest you go get Boba Fett and add him to your Imperial Force. He's a great addition to anything out there. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Queen City Gaming, signing out folks.
Hey, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for joining us here at Queen City Gaming. We strive to produce the best content for you. Remember guys, come see us on Monday for our More Tactical Mondays where we go over battle tome reviews, uh, strategy and tactics for different games. It's a super cool video to watch. All right, on whatever Wednesday, we normally do unboxing videos for a variety of games. Anything from Star Wars Legion to Games Workshop products to um, Fantasy Flight to um, to Game of, uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Super cool. And guys, on Saturdays, join us for our awesome sit and talks where we kind of hang out, build models, chat, and our battle reports, which are going to be fantastic to watch guys ranging from all different types of games thank you so much for dropping by guys have a fantastic rest of your day and thank you for coming and watching this video do me a favor though before you go please hit that subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up if you can so you can uh, see some more fantastic videos of us Alrighty, guys this is a queen city gaming signing out folks